What's all peeps? Simran Singh here. I am back on the beautiful marsh of Charleston, South Carolina. I got Sage all settled in his traditional school system yesterday. Um, and Krish and I are hanging out. We are looking for a place to live, staying with uh, a couple of wonderful friends of the family uh, for a month, which is a big, huge deal. So, um, much, much love and thanks for that to them. I um, woke up this morning just really thinking about everything that has happened and how my quest, I think throughout life, how the quest for all of us throughout life has been freedom. And freedom can mean a lot of different things to people and it can look a lot of different ways. And I think what I want to share with you is that it's not the person, it's not the place, and it's not the thing. That freedom is not going to exist because someone um, was able to let you go, or because you're in a different place, or because you have a certain lifestyle. That freedom is going to come because you feel fully free inside to do whatever it is you desire to do, however you desire to do it whenever you desire to do it. And that has to be something that is felt on the inside. It doesn't matter how many prisons or chains or boundaries are placed around you. If you can find that sense of freedom in your heart, in your gut, in your mind, in your spirit, then nothing can actually stop you. Nothing can actually keep you from feeling free. You know, we live in this country, the United States, and it's the home of the brave, the land of the free. Land of the brave, home of the free. Could be either way, I guess. Could be either way if you wanted to look at it either way. And the thing that we have to realize and we have to be really radically honest with ourselves about is how many of us are really free and how many of us have really been brave. And if your life is not looking the way you want it to look, then it's time for you to step into the courage and step out of the conformity. It's time for you to find that space of freedom and stop looking for it on the outside and other things and other people and other places and in everywhere. I have marked on the Rebel Road to give an example of what freedom can look like, but I definitely want to make certain that you're not mistaking leaping out on the road or um, being wild and out there is freedom because that is in a sense freedom but even someone that is running and wild out there all over the road or all over the world if they're not free in their heart if they're not free in their mind if they're not free in their soul they're still just as trapped as they were before and so I want you to know that I was fully free out on that road just loving it just loving it oh my god there were so many things to see and so many places to be, and so many people to embrace, and I loved every second of it. And I want you to know that I'm fully free where I am right now. There was a time in my life, many years ago, it's been quite a while now, where it was all about ambition. It was all about what, what could I be, what could I attain, um, from a sense of trying to feel worthy. And I think that that is inherent in the Indian culture, because you're kind of bred to be doctors, lawyers, or engineers, and if you don't fit that mold, then you are constantly trying to prove yourself. Um, and even in that mold, I think, in our culture, they're trying to prove themselves because it tends to be about status and about the degree and about who you are and how much you, gold you have around your neck. But I don't think any society is different in that. I think that's the patriarchal way that we have come to believe in. And instead of that, what has changed for me, especially in the last 10 years, is it's not about ambition or what I can achieve or what I can acquire or what I can attain. It's really about just the experience, the experience and the expression. And in my show, All Along the Rebel Road, one of the points that I kept telling people was it's not about the number of seats that are filled up. It's not about the products in the back of the room. It's not about the bank account. It's not about any sort of status or fame. It is about connection. It is about creating the experience that my soul has been longing for and that was connection. It was connection and it was expression and it was creative capacity and it was love. And 
you know, I think there's five months on the road. Let me tap into that in the most intimate, vulnerable, beautiful way, a really palpable way that I now have um, as an experience that I can carry within me, but continue to to write about, continue to share wisdom about, continue to contemplate so that I know more of that inside of me. And um, I don't know what the next few months are going to look like. All I know is it feels as if something is expanding and that this return home is merely a symbol of the true and deep return home inside that has happened because I was willing to dive into the unknown. I was willing to be um, who I'd never been. I was willing to be courageous and get up on stage and put on a show when I've never done anything like that before and sing and everything else. And it has led to amazing opportunities. My, um, my life is full. My life is full. And I can't say that it has always felt that way. And if you decide to sign up for planet Earth, then it's not supposed to feel that way for much of life. Actually, um, it is a period between age 33 and 43 that you start to then wonder and look and, and start to, to try to find out where that meaning is and, and what, what really does matter. And so it is a walk, a blueprint that we all do take, and how magnificent it is. And so I'm excited about finding a place to live, about decorating. I became very clear, especially with communications that have taken place in the last couple of weeks with my past relationship, that um, I really want a fresh start. You know, I, I have furniture, and I don't even want that in my new place. I don't want any memory of it. I don't want any energy of it. I don't want anything to taint the possibility of my imagination or my my boundlessness and I want you to know that's okay I think we make up excuses about why we have to hang on to stuff or you know some of it comes from fear about if I let this go I've got to to buy something else and 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 that's going to cost money but is that not the lack again so I'm asking you now to step even more into that unknown look around your life look around your place you know what are you holding on to that just brings up bad memories, that just brings up pain, that just reminds you of things that you no longer want in your consciousness, you no longer desire to have in your experience. And it doesn't mean that from a space of separation. It means that from a place of honoring, that I now honor myself enough to truly create the beauty in my life that uh, I'm, I'm willing to and have. And so I can honestly say I have, I love myself more than I ever have before. And, um, Gosh, I'm in love with me. And the beauty of that is, I don't know that I could have said that even 10 years ago. Even five years ago, I was still figuring that out. I think self-love is the reason that we've come. And our willingness to recognize the unloving actions and nature of ourselves towards ourselves is the first step to truly being able to loving ourselves. And you know what? I'm willing to be that honest. I'm willing to say I did not love myself one bit for a long time. And that how I know that is because of the abusive relationships I created in my life, of the types of experiences that I had that would be that continuous reincarnation of that lack of self-love. And so what I'm seeing now is the mirror of that love coming at me from all angles. And that's what I want you to have. That's what I want you to go after. So look at your life. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of anything and everything that is not serving you, that is not honoring you, that is not loving you. It is time to step out of conformity. It is time to discover how much love you can stand. In love, of love, with love, and as love, shining brightly, illuminating presence, divinely happy, and continuing on this revelicious path of the rebel road. I'm Simran Singh on the marsh in Charleston.